Hey guys, Dr. Steve here with another episode of Core Wellness TV. Today is Juglin's Nigra Hunt Day. Black Walnut, Eastern Black Walnut. Uh, trying to find, let me switch the camera around. So as you can see, we've got a, a black walnut tree here. I'm trying to find one. I want the green nuts right now. I don't want those dark black ones right now. I don't want the rotten ones because I am after the hull of the black walnut. Meaning, the hole, the outside of the black walnut. See, that's a nice green one, still stiff. This one, we'll pick that one open, there might be some, some worms in there and it's starting to rot out. And that's fine if you're just wanting to get the nut, but I want the hull. I want the compound called juglone that is in the green hull. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to uh, quarter them and put them in a quart jar with some vodka and we're going to do an alcohol uh, extraction. I'm going to let it sit for a couple of months and then I'm going to have my own Juglin's Nigra tincture. And I'm going to use that as an antiparasitic. We'll use that to oxygenate the blood. We will use that as an antibacterial, antifungal, uh, it's probably most well known as a antiparasitic because in bigger doses it, it can create um, it's a laxative effect and it kind of blows the worms off the walls so to speak so that's the idea and I've never done this before so I am gonna do it See, this is a good way to practice your squat and your bear crawl. Foraging. Foraging requires a good squat, right? Now here's something that really amazes me about this. I picked this walnut with no perceivable holes in it. It was a little soft and starting to turn brown a little bit. Now look at the other side. And a worm dropped down on me. I hear that they're fly larvae. How do they get in there? That's why I don't that's why I'm going for the green ones, and that has the most active ingredients of juglone in it. The other interesting thing about these uh get my get in my bag here of of the juglones inside this is that I, I mentioned a little bit about oxygenation earlier maybe i didn't is the juglone interacts in your body and blood and actually creates hydrogen peroxide h2o2 so it's toxic to cancer cells that's one of the reasons that um, high dose of vitamin C works against cancer cells is because it creates a big dose of hydrogen peroxide and cancer hates oxygen. Oxygenate your blood. Okay, now I'm not a, a, a Juglin's Nigra expert by any means. I'm a novice, but I've been learning more and more about this and it's one of those things that nature has for us that you can put in your toolkit. Eastern black walnut. And it gives you a chance to get out and bend and squat and do all the things that you were designed to do as a human. Okay? So get out there and before it's almost, they're almost all gone here in, uh, in the Midwest. Uh, but, uh, but if you're lucky enough to have a black, I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a grove of Eastern black walnuts. This is very, very, uh, on you know they're black walnuts are kind of rare so if you're lucky enough to have one use them and let them dry and eat them too the, the nuts themselves are very nutritious they have good omega-3 content they have uh, uh, 
uh, good magnesium content. There's a lot of uh, a lot of things inside the nut itself. You may have heard that eating walnuts is good for you. Remember, you ever see those pictures with looking at a walnut and it looks like your brain? That means eating walnuts is good for your brain. There's lots of antioxidants and good fats and all that kind of stuff. So, shout out to walnuts and uh, enjoy. Get out in nature and oxygenate your blood. <laughs> see you later. Bye bye. Black walnut leaves, the green stuff. Sometimes this is starting to get a little rotten. But the green stuff on the inside, black walnut hull, is very powerful medicine. Okay, guys, we're going to finish this up. Uh, I talked about the alcohol extraction. We're going to use vodka. I'm actually going to pour about a third, I'll take this pour off, so we fill about a third of the way full. The alcohol is the solvent that goes in and pulls out the chemicals in the jug. Oop, I almost made that mistake. I made that mistake last time. That's why that was from like two days ago. And we also know that Juglans Nigra is used in brown hair dyes because it does not go away. But I learned my lesson. I used some brown jersey gloves last time and it soaked through really quick. So I went to the office and got my gloves that I used to treat people's TMJs with. Anyway, so we're gonna go through here and see what we got. Usually, up. Oh, nope, see this one's got bugs in it. That, uh, uh, that, uh, it's the walnut husk fly. I'm not going to use that one. Let's see if we can find some that are that's nice and green. And I'll show you how I do it here. I quarter it out. This one feels like it's a little more solid. Yep. See? This one's still nice and green. No flies. The walnut husk fly. I should. The. Whoops. The more you break this stuff up, the better. The more surface area you can expose, the more the alcohol gets the chance to be a solvent and extract all of that jug loan into it. So anyway, so I'm going too fast. I need to slow down. Make it nice and easy. Anyway, that is the process, and I'm going to fill this up with this green compound. And one of the things I mentioned it briefly in the video at, at Perrin Park, and the juglone actually creates hydrogen peroxide in the blood. Hydrogen peroxide is uh, normally in humans, our normal cells, this one's a good one still, in normal cells, uh, in a human, the hydrogen peroxide is normally produced, but it's then it's, it's gobbled up by this enzyme called catalase, which is pretty cool. But what's really cool is cancer cells do not have catalase, or most cancer cells, I don't think, or the, they have it, but it doesn't work very good. So that's cancer's weakness, is it doesn't have catalase, and it can't break down hydrogen peroxide. So hydrogen peroxide is very toxic, and it kills the cancer cells. But it doesn't harm us, because we have the catalase. It can take care of it. Yep, this one looks good. So. That's why Juglans Nigra has been studied and proven to make cancer cells self-destruct, which is pretty cool. And that's the same thing that high-dose vitamin C therapy does. Intravenous is the only way to make it happen. That's why high-dose intravenous vitamin C also causes your body to kick off extra hydrogen peroxide, which is toxic to cancer cells, but not 
normal functioning human cells. So that is, uh, I wanted to, to bring that back out because I, oh, see, if I see a little dark spot in there, I usually just kind of cut that part out and then break it up and throw it in there. And the other reason I wanted to share this with you guys is because this is something new for me. I've never done this before. And that's one of the best ways to keep your brain sharp, your nervous system sharp. Your brain likes to keep learning. And if it doesn't keep learning and doing things that are new, then it just starts to get old and rot. So keep learning new things and keep exploring natural remedies for things. Get into folk remedies because there's truth in that. We've had these compounds around for thousands and thousands of years. Why not learn to use them? So, that is my take on this today. I'm looking forward, actually. Hey, Nathaniel. Yeah. Can you bring me uh, one of the jars that is on the, uh, on the counter behind, back by the coffee pot that's already been soaking for a few days? It's a, there's a glass jar behind the coffee pot. What's your line? I don't remember. He loves Juglin's Nigra. <laughs> anyway, this is what's been. So this was four to six weeks of agitation. Or not, you get it every day or a few times a week and you take it and just expose as much of it as you can as possible. Check to make sure that everything is covered. See right there, that needs more on top. I shouldn't have filled it so full, but it needs more because you don't want bacteria and mold to form. And of course, the alcohol keeps that from happening because these things are soaking in the alcohol and it's dropping the level. So, you know, I guess that's uh, just about all I had. Uh, I just wanted to finish up and, and share the rest of the rest of the story. So, um, antibacterial, antiparasitic, antifungal, anti-cancer. Uh, the tannins are an astringent. It's good to, if you can handle the staining on your skin, it puckers it up and tightens it. Uh, so, pretty cool. Use nature. That's it. If you have any questions, uh, you can post down below if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, just make sure that uh, you visit us at uh, gettoyourcore.com. There should be a description in the uh, URL in the description box down below. And uh, thanks for being here. Bye-bye.